yards in the first half. And they've taken Jay Lucas out of the football game, and Brian Babin has looked a little shaky. Bunch will go to the air and finds nice Buchanan there. Oh, pardon me, Antonio, Antonio Robinson, Robinson, the wide receiver, and he's got the first down at the southeastern 30-yard line. That, that was a nice play, and, you know, Tony Johnson's right on him. Another a young man from Redemptress High School in Baton Rouge makes the nice play throw, uh, to the sidelines. We're going to see it here. And well, when Chris sets his feet and throws the football, you know, on balance, he is a good passer. Where he gets in trouble when he's off balance, throws off his back foot. And we've seen that time and time again during the season. He's had that opportunity. When he sets well and throws on balance, he's a very accurate passer. Now you saw Mike Smith, Jeez. the first down man, yelling first down, and he might be yelling more, and he'll be yelling it again on this play as Corey Buchanan is inside the 20 in the red zone and down to the 16-yard line. That's another first down for Mike Smith to tell fans first down here. Well, they, they, they found a spot on that right side for Southeastern that uh, they're running at. Uh, Nicholas State's left uh, offensive line at Southeastern's right up defensive line, and they've got a big chunk of yardage with Buchanan. That was part of the kind of recipe for what was working late in the second uh, quarter. Here's Bunch looking, throwing. Robinson again at the 10-yard line, and he's brought down there, but it's that offensive line that's either giving Bunch time or opening holes. Jonathan Diavola, the senior at left tackle. Spencer Langthorne in there right now at left guard. Nigel Cormier, the center, who lost his mom this week. And... Uh, Eric Flowers at right tackle and Blaine Burns, or right guard and Blaine Burns at right tackle. I really thought Chris was going to take off and run on that play, you know, and he saw Antonio have a little uh, crease there and uh, he got the football in between him and Rakeem Wilson, young man from Franklin High School in Louisiana. And actually, Aaron Myers, the transfer from UCLA, is on the line oh on this series. Goodness. Right up the middle, and boy, the Colonels are content if they can to just pound away at that makeshift Southeastern defense inside the five now to the four yard line and it's first and goal for Nickel State. Ken, I don't, I don't know what more Southeastern can do because they've bunched up people along the line of scrimmage, nine men up front, and, and they just not stop it. it. It's just been a battle of wills, and Nichols' offensive line has won that battle from basically the start of this game up until now. And again, we talk about the makeshift line, but Vaughn, Boatwell, and Honore, that's your that's your normal that's starters. Your normal yeah, sets, that's right. Your defensive line, your three down linemen, that's the guys who normally start there. Now, Pierre is one of the linebackers. Connors and Goddard, they're, they're in there, and, and Douglas and Powell. So a lot of backups and a lot of the people you would normally rest some of your starters with, not eligible, but there's still a lot of good players in there, a lot of, lot of first-teamers in there for Southeastern. You know, it's a little bit surprising after the big win last week by Southeastern. They have not been able to carry over that confidence level into this game. Uh, you know, they, they really haven't. Uh, it goes to show you how, you know, games change, but that confidence level uh, that they had last week, especially late to come back and win that game, hasn't been there today. A.J. Williams on the carry, and he's inside the, well, very close to the five-yard line. And again, that might have come from so many people being suspended for the violation of team rules. But again, in football, you've got to sort of expect those kind of things to happen sometimes, suck it up and step up. Listen, this is an emotional game, and, and you've got to play with some pride here. And right now, I mean, they're just getting the tar kicked out of them up front. Uh, you know, they've got to make a stand here to, to keep this game close. Let's see what Bunch does. Oh. oh, he may keep and run all the way. He'll try to beat Connors on the outside, yeah. and he did not get there. He's out of bounds at the yes. one-and-a-half-yard line. Boy, Connors did, <laughs> did everything he could to, to blow that play up and, and stop it, but uh, Chris Bunch showing his athletic skills on that naked bootleg out He's feeling the right. it right now. Look at it. He's feeling yeah. it. You can tell. Yeah, he's playing with a lot of confidence right yeah. now. And, and he knows he's got a team on the ropes. He knows he's got yes. a football team on the ropes right now. A little while ago, Rene Nado, local sportscaster, stopped in to chat with us. And he is the uncle of Tommy Connors. Must have got some of Rene's well, well, talent. What happened to those genes? <laughs> <laughs> the genetic part of this. You know, I'm just kidding, Rene. Great guy. Great second effort. The Colonels are in. Touchdown, Ooh. Nickel State. And, boy, that was effort, effort, second effort, and some third effort for the Colonels to get in there. Corey Buchanan Corey on Buchanan. the score. And boy, you, you're happy for Corey. He's been the catalyst since the second quarter in getting this running game going. 
uh, for Nickel State. Here you can see he gets hit initially at the two-yard line. The second line. effort, the third effort, the fourth effort and on just keeps the buck up, so to speak, so to speak, rather. And then he uses his weight and just pushes over. Nice play by Corey Buchanan. 